In this video, I'm going to teach you how to design this t-shirt right here in Affinity Designer from scratch. We're going to build the flag and add the textures. Let's go. Hey everyone, thanks for joining me on this video. My name is Juno with Detour Shirts, the channel all about helping you design and sell t-shirts online. If that's something you like to do, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. In this video, I'm going to show you how to design that t-shirt I showed earlier from scratch in Affinity Designer. So I'm going to show you how to build the flag using the shapes in Affinity Designer, the text in that flag to go vertical, and the distress textures that many of you have been asking for, how to add that distress layer so that the design looks a little more rough. So I'm going to show you all those techniques as well as another edition of trend credit so you're going to want to stay all the way till the end the best way to show you all of this is to get right into affinity designer so let me get there now all right so here we are in affinity designer you can see i have the flag already here but i'm going to show you how to build it so you can do a couple of things first i have this flag and many others on my shop detourshirts.com you can go there and download that um, it's in my downloads file i'll show you a link right here it's four dollars but it comes with a lot of other flags so you can do this with a lot of other flags if you want to do it yourself you can draw these this is just rectangles and stars so it's very simple and if you don't know where to put them I would suggest to go to Google and just find one that's in black and white and kind of put it on here just to give you a guide and then trace over it so let me unlock this ungroup this and show you this is just a rectangle right so you can go here and draw a rectangle just like that. And if you had one underneath, you could just trace it underneath. But look at that, a rectangle. And then the other ones are just stars. And the way to do stars is right here, a star. Hold down shift to make it a, a perfect star. And then with your, with the flag that you got from Google, you'll just put your star over here and so that everything is vectors. So you can see all of these are just vectors now. I've grouped these stars together. They're just black. And this is just black. So everything's black. And I'm going to group all of them together. Command G right there. So this whole thing now is grouped. And if you downloaded mine, you can just click on it and change it to black, right? So you would click on all of these. If you downloaded my version, because it's already vectors, you could just turn it to black. Whoops, that's the wrong one. Make sure to take out the white because I've had it red and white. So you don't need the white ones. And you, I'll show you why later. So anyway, and of course you can just get rid of this blue right here. Just do it for you. And then select all the stars here. Right? And you're going to make these black. So black no outline there's stars there and there and there and there Wait, one more and that one make sure they're black and don't put the outline so they're all black now right so that's exactly what I did here you can see so the next thing we're gonna do is just turn it so you can group the whole thing and just turn it down hold down shift now, if you want the stars on the right, leave it like that. I want it on the left, so I'll do this. So it's kind of tall. So what I want to do is I want to tighten it. So the way you could do that is you could ungroup it again. So these are rectangles. So you might want to convert these to curves, and I'll show you why. So convert all of these rectangles to curves now by clicking there. And now you can double click on them and select the points. So just select all these points right here and I'm just hitting the arrow tool basically a shirt is like that right there so that's nice right there so I'm gonna just leave it there you can make you can leave it the length you want but I wanted mine a little shorter so that's what I did there and the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna replace this one right here with text so I'm gonna just say American a, well, I'm going to have to make that black. 
I'm using impact font here because it's a bold font and I'm going to use all caps. Um, there, whoops. Just hit space after everyone. All right. And then I'm going to center all of this. So select all, hit center align there, and then remove this one and just put American here. As you zoom in, you want to make it the right height. So that height right there and there, right? Perfect. So that's looking good already. So now the next thing I want to do is I want to put this on a black shirt. So this works well on a white shirt, but let's put it on a black shirt. But I'm going to put, make it the right size as well. So I'm going to group all of these. Oh, you also want to make sure that this is not just a font. I'm going to convert it to curves just in case. All right. So I'm going to group all of those and I'm going to bring it over to here. This is my artboard that I made 5400 by 4500. So 4,500 this way, 5,400 this way. So that's the size Merch by Amazon wants for t-shirts. So I'm just gonna put it on here. Of course, I need to make it white and at the top so, so that you can see it. And then kind of scale it the size that you want it to be on the t-shirt. I don't wanna do the whole thing. I kind of like doing it that big right there. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is add texture. So we're gonna have to find some textures that we like and I'll show you which ones I use. You can just search on Google, but we're gonna search on Google together and I'll show you which ones I got. So the place I like to look for for textures is here, Creative Market, creativemarket.com. It's real simple. I'll just type in vector textures, texture, maybe just like that. And you can see all the textures here. This is a cool one, 20 subtle textures. There's some stamp ones, watercolor all these vintage ones, so distress. So these look really cool. And of course there's pages and pages of them, right? So here's some more, you get the idea. Lots of, lots of these. The ones that I got, I got a while ago and I got them from, from Tom Chucky. And these are the two that I got. I got this one, 41 high quality textures. Let me show you this one. So you can see here, these are the textures that I have. Let me just show you. Really cool, like a paint brush or roller paint kind of texture. So really neat. And then Tom also had some other ones, this 45 grit texture. So it just means there's 45 of them and there's a bunch. So they kind of look like this. So I'm going to open those up in Affinity Designer and I'll show you how to use it. It's super simple and you're going to be amazed how simple this is. So here I am on Affinity Designer again. I just opened up some of the textures here. You can see this is what one of them looks like. This is Grit Texture 35. And here's one of the other textures. This is Roller Texture 1, both from that Tom Chalky thing. So I'm going to pull them over here. You can see they're vectors. So that's one thing that's really cool. They're all vectors. So I'm just gonna copy this and put it over here. And of course, because they're vectors, I can move it here and scale it without any problem, right? So same thing with this roller texture. I'm gonna copy and put it on this file here. And again, I can scale this one too. So I'm gonna show you a couple of versions to do this. So for that, I'm gonna move these down here. I'm just gonna copy these two boards so you can see the different ways to do it. So the first way to do it is to use this texture here. I'm just gonna put it over here. And that kind of looks right. I'm just gonna size it. What you're not seeing though is that if I take off this rectangle here, you can see that it's just all over the place. So it's not connected. So what I want to do is connect them. So 
To show that, I'm going to change the color of this background so you can see the difference. There's that black on top of there. So let's do this. So we have these two. You can see the curves is this texture. I'm going to label it texture so you can see. Texture. And then I'm going to combine these two and group them. So Command-G. Whoops. These two. Command-G. So you can see in this group now, I have the texture and the flag, right? So all I have to do is go on texture and go down here and say erase because now it's above the group. And look at that, right? You see the difference? Now it doesn't have that texture over the top. It's just that. So if I zoom in, you can see that it just totally knocked it out. And that's it. It's as simple as that. Just group it and erase. And all you have to do to export this now is remove this background right here and hit artboard and PNG and make sure you say selection without background just in case and export it. So just to show you here, this is the PNG file that I just saved and you can see it is totally knocked out, right? So let's do the other version. Let's go back and to this artboard. I'm gonna turn back the background so you can see. The other way you can do it is kind of a masking effect. So you can see here, this is what I want it to be in. So I'm gonna change the color from black to red so you can see. I'm gonna put this over the top here. So this is going to give you a slightly different effect than what we had for the other one, but I think you're going to like this one too. So now that this one's over, make sure it's at the top. There's two steps to this. First, make this not a color. So you can see here, I'm taking out the color and all the color here, and then move the flag to the top. You can do that right here, move to front, and now just drag that into, so you can see here, I'm dragging it down and into the right to the curves. And look what happened. It masked it out. Isn't that cool? So let's go in here and it like totally masked it out of the paintbrush. So you can see here, it gives you that distressed kind of look. Now let's go back. It may not have masked it as much as you wanted. So what you could do is just move this up a little bit. You can see how it would cut it off here. If you want it to cut off more, you can just move it in just a little bit like that. Okay, now let's do it. Do and move the flag to the top right here. And then you'll see again, drag down and push in. Boom. Look at that. Isn't that cool? So when we save this PNG as well, you want to unselect the rectangle, hit here, and PNG again, just to be safe, selection without background, export, and you can see here it, was, it knocked it out as well. So those are the two ways you can do it. You can mask it, let me undo Z. So you can mask it, that's what this one is, or you can erase it from the top, right? Really simple way you can do textures, depending on what textures you have, you can do either one, either one works. So that's how you do this design, this distress font, the flag you made from scratch with rectangles and stars, the text you just typed it and did it vertical, remember center aligned with a thick font, and you can make it a different color too, right? So let's go back here, and some, of, some people will wanna make this like a blue color or something. Look at that, real simple, right? Because your vectors, you can change it. So you made the text, you made the, um, the distressed. And of course, if you wanna make these, these red, you could do that as well. So it's vector, right? Look at that. So cool effect here. Do whatever color you want. So that's how you do it. It's really simple, probably simpler than you thought it would be. You can do this with different flags, different phrases, different distress fonts, different colors. Make it your own. Have fun with this one. Thanks for staying all the way to the end. Let me know in the comments what else you want me to show you how to design. If you have a t-shirt that you see online and like, how do I do this? Let me know. 
in the comments. I'll be happy to help you. Thanks for staying all the way to the end and your reward is another edition of Trend Credits. Thanks for staying all the way to the end for the Trend Credits. Here is your Trend Frontline Warriors shirt. Of course, here we go, Frontline Warriors. These are the ones that are helping on the front lines. You can see here on Merch Informer, it's getting an A, so you know it's good. I have the link for Merch Informer in my description here. Again, Frontline Warrior Nurse. Take a look at those BSRs right here. You can see it's very low. So you might want to do this one. This is your trend for today, Frontline Warriors. Thanks so much for staying all the way to the end. And if this video was helpful for you, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Make sure to like and subscribe. And as always, guys, keep creating and keep learning. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.